Happy Australia Day! Yes, it is. Oh, no, we, we missed that? it. Sorry. No, it's today here. Today's the 26th. Oh, right. I thought it was the 25th for some reason. I keep forgetting well, that. Well, it's the 25th here when yeah. it's the 26th there. So we didn't actually get to celebrate Australia Day last year in 2020 because we left LA at 11 p.m. on the 25th and we landed at Melbourne at 9 a.m. on the 27th. So we completely yeah. skipped a day with the time change and everything. So we didn't even get one last year. But anyways, um, we're on day two of our potatoes. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> and we saved the best for last. Uh, the wife's already licking her lips, <laughs> ready to eat these, and she wants me to get going on them. Um, once you try these, you may not want any other type of roast potato again. These are that good. You should insert um, Homer Simpson drooling. <laughs> <sighs> these would actually be an amazing accompaniment? Accompaniment? Nope. What do you say? Accompaniment. Nope. Account. <laughs> we can't say the word. A side dish. Yes, this would be a great side dish for our really, really good friend, uh, Lisa's roast lamb and peas recipe. So uh, Lisa, whenever you do that next time, try these potatoes out. These are so good. It's actually really, really easy for ingredients. We went and picked some fresh thyme and fresh rosemary from our herb garden here in Canada on January 25th. <laughs> You're gonna need a full bulb of garlic, um, however many potatoes you want. Again, we're gonna go with the yellow potatoes. They have a really good starch content and they're gonna be really, really fluffy once you're done cooking them, which is gonna be key. What we're cooking today is gonna to have a really crisp outer coating and then everything inside is gonna be like a fluffy pillow. So I call these my crispy pillows of yum. This recipe is actually from Jamie Oliver. He has a video where he does three different types of roast potatoes. Uh, this one looked closer to what I would normally want, so we gave it a try a few weeks ago, and it is so, so good. This is actually really good with the peppered steak. The first thing you're gonna need to do is cut, uh, pe wash, peel, and cut your potatoes. So we're not gonna show you how to do that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to uh, peel my fingers this time. Probably a little bigger than a bite size is how you want these uh, you want these to be done. And some people actually use like um, actual cutters yeah. to cut the potato, but then you do waste a lot of potato yeah. there. So if you really want to do a, um, an amazing presentation, you can cut them special or, you know, cut them in a certain way that when they cook, they all look uniform. Uh, I don't care. These are rustic roast potatoes. We're gonna potatoes. put them in our gobs. Yeah, we're gonna shove them in our mouth, so who gives a crap, right? Uh, yeah, so you have the fresh herbs, you have a bulb of garlic, you've got your potatoes. We're gonna be roasting those in a three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Is that extra? Yeah, it is, good. We got our, our grinders. So we've got our black peppercorn grinder. We have a proper one, the wooden one there, but we really wanted to start getting the Himalayan pink salt uh, into a grinder and use that in our cooking. So we're gonna be using those today. All right, so first thing to do is wash, peel, and cut the potatoes. And then you wanna parboil them in hot water, <laughs> like you cook all potatoes, uh, for 10 minutes. This is gonna help cook them a little bit and it's gonna help release the starch. And then when we get to that point, there's a very, very important step in the recipe you need to do to make is, sure. Is the water boiling or is the water just simmering? Uh, just, yeah, boil them, parboil, okay. yeah. Okay. Just cook them for 10 minutes. You just wanna cook, uh, you wanna make sure they're somewhat cooked because when you finish them in the oven, it's just going to be heaven. You'll see in the end. I guess as always, while you're doing the prep and the part boiling, you want to preheat the oven, right? Oh crap. Yep. Forgot it. Jeez. Sorry. That was really loud. <laughs> yes. Um, you want to cook these for 50 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Oh, it already knew what it wanted. That's the default for the oven. Yeah, we're gonna be cooking these for 50 minutes. At 40 minutes, we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna check on them and we're gonna do another thing that's actually gonna make them even better. So we'll cut to that when we get there. Okay, we've had the potatoes on for just over 10 minutes now. And I wanna show you what you wanna kinda of look for. Usually you'll start to see the outsides flake off a little bit. That's what you wanna look for. You can kind of see that there. I'm just gonna put one up to the GoPro here so we can kind of see. Those are good, so let's take those off. 
and we're going to strain those. So yeah, drain your potatoes. And the type of colander or strainer that you're going to use is going to be key for this. Because what you want to do at this point is chuff them up. That's what Jamie Oliver calls it, chuffing them up. So you just want to kind of toss them in here until they start to get a little bit broken up. I guess just don't be yep. too crazy because yep. you'll end up with potato like that. Yep. You get one that follows on the floor. <laughs> okay, so those are good. That's what you want to see. All that little stuff, all that powdery, no, not powdery, but all that soft stuff on the outside, that's going to crisp up in the oven and it's going to make these absolutely amazing. All right, so now you want to grab your roasting pan. Um, again, we got these Pizza Hut pans from one of our old neighbors. Their daughter used to work at Pizza Hut and they got a bunch of these and they gave us some. These have been absolutely amazing and they really, really work well for this. We've had those probably eight years or something now, right? Oh, dear. No. No, way more than eight. Yeah. Yeah, because it was, yeah, the other house. Okay, so what you need to do is... I am making an absolute mess here tonight. These are going in the oven, so it's okay. <laughs> the whole bulb of garlic you want to break apart. And you can leave the skin on the bulbs, that's okay. This is just very much similar to a roasted uh, roasted garlic if you're doing that. Do you want to take that loose skin out though so it doesn't yeah. end up being... This stuff actually won't burn because we don't have the oven quite hot enough. When I first did this the first time, I was worried that the skins were going to burn, but it was fine. Okay, and then we're going to put in some thyme. I'm just going to put the sprigs right in. You don't need to worry about cutting it up or anything. Actually, you do want to put some of the leaves in like there. Like rub some? Yeah. Make sure you get some of the leaves loose. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I'm thinking of a Weagle song right now. Hot potato, hot potato. Okay, so we have our thyme in there. And for the rosemary, you want, to, you want fresh rosemary as well. Um, again, I got this tip from Jamie Oliver to release all of the flavor and oils in this, you want to run it under some hot water really quickly. And it's going to help release everything. The only problem with doing this is you're going to get all of that oil and sap on your fingers. So your fingers are going to be sticky. Okay, so that's good. I'll pull a bunch of these off. If you want, if you don't like bits of uh, big pieces of rosemary and thyme like this, you can chop them up and put them in there. We're just going roasted. We're going roasted rustic with this one. So let's get a few more of those in there. And because uh, the potatoes are cooking in the oil and all of these herbs and spices, uh, they're going to take on all of that flavor. So, okay, that's probably good. And then you want to. You want to put your potatoes in. There we go. And then you want to put in your oil. Or you can do that first, whichever one you want to do. Recipe calls for three tablespoons. I'm going to go with that much. Okay, and then you just want to gently toss these. You don't want the potatoes to break up anymore. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Hard to get. Oh, I'm missing something. Seasoning. There we go. Just get everything kind of all combined and mixed up and happy and sloppy and... I was going to say use your hands, but the potatoes might be a little too hot. Yeah. I probably, the potatoes have been sitting there for a little bit, so I probably could have done that, but I just don't want to have my hands covered in oil because they're cracking from this amazing hot weather we're having here in Canada in January. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, so we're going to put these in the oven. We have the oven preheated at 350 for 40 minutes. And when we come back, you're going to see what we do to make these even a little bit better. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, it's been 40 minutes. Let's take a peek and see how these are doing. Get the GoPro tripod in the way. There we go. So that's sort of the crispiness we're looking for on the outside there. Um, and what we're going to do now is on any of the big pieces, so I've only got a couple in here because the way I cut them, 
you just want to kind of break them open a little bit. And what you're doing here is you're exposing the soft inner part to this amazing olive oil with herbs and spices in it. And it's going to soak up some more of that flavor. There you go. Come on. And you want to probably toss anywhere that's not crispy yet. Just put that face down. And we're going to put these back in for 10 minutes just to finish off cooking. They're pretty soft already. Okay, put them back in for 10 minutes and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes, so let's pull these puppies out. Ooh. Not only do those look amazing, but this whole kitchen smells awesome. I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what they look like on the middle. Let's grab this guy here. So as you can see, it's crispy on the outside. So if I push this, everything will just come out like mashed potatoes, watch. Look at that. And this here is so good. It's just like eating a mashed potato. Mmm, so soft. And there it is. So two of the best recipes we found in 2020. I uh, just wanted to share them with you. They make amazing sides and we've had these potatoes, I don't know how many times in the last month, but they're really, really <laughs> good for cold Canadian winters, but they're Maybe good on their own. Maybe not so good for the waistline though. Yeah. Well, Although it's healthy. It's olive pretty healthy. Oil. Yep. And if you want, you have all of this roasted garlic that you can just go ahead and you can use this. You can actually squeeze some right on the potatoes if you want, add a little more flavor. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you want us to try any recipes, just leave something in the comments. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'll see if we can answer them on a future video. As always, thanks for watching Cooking with Craig. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.